This program contains images which may be disturbing to younger or sensitive viewers. Parental discretion is advised. Home video allows us at Dennis to capture records that for years have only been talked about but never seen. I assure you, Steve and Ann Benning's home video will be something that you will never forget. It's the Mouse Plague of 1993. This shocking video was shot outside the livestock shed on the Vinnings Australian farm. Oh, look at them all. Oh, look at them all. Despite the danger, Ann Vinning had no choice but to wade into the mouse infested shed to save her screeching pigs. Millions of mice had attacked their farm, and there was nothing they could do. But they're still coming out. The waterfall that came out of that shed was just enormous. It was just probably about two feet high. Millions and millions just flowing out like water. Oh, yuck. <laughs> this never-before-seen video reveals that the Bennings had responded not a moment too soon. The ravenous rodents had literally started to eat some of the pigs. The Bennings weren't alone. Miles away, Rob Berlin's livestock was also being attacked by swarms of mice. They chewed on the animals, the little ones that were freshly born that eat the legs off of them. Um, it was just terrible. It wasn't just the pigs that came under attack. Buildings were devoured. Farm equipment destroyed. Crops decimated. And disease was spreading. There was no escaping them. Armies of frenzied wild rodents ran amok. A modern day plague of biblical proportion. One that would lead to an astonishing Guinness record. In 1993, the southern region of Australia was blessed with unusually heavy rains, and farmers were looking forward to the most bountiful crop the area had ever seen. But what they didn't know was that the huge crop production would trigger a virtual explosion of mice. Unfortunately, mice are one of the most sexually active creatures on Earth. A single pair can produce 2,000 offspring in just a matter of months. These colonies were turning out hundreds of thousands of hungry mice every day. It was all-out war, but there weren't enough mouse traps in the entire country to kill all the mice invading a single farm. It was a losing battle. I set up bucket traps in the bathroom and so forth, and I was getting a thousand mice in each bucket every morning. So it was just huge. Became weeks. Millions became tens of millions. The plague continued with mice eating 20% of their body weight every 24 hours. The mice destroyed 500,000 tons of wheat, enough to feed the entire state of Utah for nearly four years. Just when the Vennings thought they had seen the worst, the unthinkable happened. Their youngest daughter tried to eat a dead mouse. After calling her one morning, I found that she had the mouse trap in her hand. Another mouse had actually eaten a hole through the head of that mouse, and she had a tongue through that hole, and that was the last straw for me. Most people would move, but not the Vennings. They showed their shocking home video to the press, and authorities realized that unless they acted quickly, the plague would explode into a national epidemic that would cripple the economy. The world's worst mouse plague led to the largest poisoning program ever attempted. A team of scientists spread strychnine-laced wheat by air and land. These were drastic measures. They risked poisoning other animals and contaminating the food chain. But they had no choice. They watched and waited. And then it happened. The farmlands were turned into killing fields. The plague that had lasted six months was over in just a matter of days. The dead were everywhere, as more than 100 million corpses turned up. The world's largest mouse plague set a Guinness record for being the most costly. The rodents racked up a bill of $70 million in lost crops, livestock, and property. But maybe the biggest toll was the psychological devastation it had on people.
it was just the worst thing I've ever gone through and I think if it ever came again I would probably move away permanently or burn the farm. Bedding should leave their options open because scientists warn if conditions are right, the nightmare can pick up right where it left off. And the revenge of the rodents is one Guinness record you don't want to live through. Can't imagine dealing with that. Ugh. We'll be right back.